Hi, I'm Senri Rupasinghe. My Instagram handle is senri.rupasinghe. I'm a content creator, model, and a future lawyer to be. Hi, I'm Dima Rupa Singha, also the designer, creator, entrepreneur behind the online clothing brand Lily and uh, the accessory brand XO.LK. My Instagram handle is Dima.Rupa Singha. Hi, I'm Senori. Hi, I'm Dima, and you're, you're watching, watching Hashtag Generation. You didn't say that. It's okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Senori. Hi, I'm Dima, and, and you're, you're watching, watching Hashtag Generation. Oh. Sorry, I tried to do that. I want to go home. <laughs> Hi, I'm Senori. Hi, I'm Dima, and, and you're, you're watching Hashtag Generation. generation. For me, social media personality is someone people look up to. They really want to relate to you, right? But you also have to be friendly and trustworthy for them to relate to. In my opinion, that's my two cents. You. So, in my opinion, a social media personality should be able to impact uh, people, those around him or her, their followers, in a positive way, in an influential, creative, positive way. That's just my opinion. If social media could hold the people accountable for those who bring a negative impact in other people's lives, for example, let's say I'm a content creator and there's this anonymous load of people who just bring all those nasty comments, the toxic comments, negative impacts, I wish they would do something to hold them accountable. That I wish for a change. Uh, in my opinion, um when it comes to situations, it could be social media or any other thing. Most of the cases, it's difficult for us to uh, manage uh, people or those who are behind it uh, or the situation. But what we can do is we can handle it in a diplomatic way. Uh, we can handle these situations in a better way. So I think all these negative impacts through social media or not, uh, we can handle things in a better way. We can learn it. Our generation can learn to handle things. We had ample time during COVID was, yeah. and all our gigs, modelling to university to everything was on hold. So towards the last end, I think, last wave, yeah, yeah. we were just, I think we got on Instagram during COVID, COVID right? Yeah, mostly. So Instagram, TikTok, because of COVID, pretty much because we had ample time, I think, at that point. So during COVID, um, I started a venture uh, called Lily, it's an online clothing brand, so we didn't have much to do at home. So I was properly focused on it and the social media uh, really gave us a great platform to showcase our venture. So uh, obviously our goal was to uh, expand the business, so social media did great for us. I try to be relatable as much as possible but also I'm a person who has a private side of things, so I make sure I don't put everything out there. True. Uh, so, we try to be mindful with everything we post. We are true to our content. Uh, but also, uh, with whatever we po do post, I try to tell a story. It's, it could be my style. It could be my way of things. So, yeah. That's a tough question. Because it depends from person yeah. to person, right? It, 
Yeah, even for brand me, wise. Yeah, for yeah. me, of course, I do like the mystery of life, so I really don't want to give everything. But what I share, I share it wholeheartedly and transparent as much as possible. But the private life, the magic to life, I keep it for myself. There's pros and cons, uh, but brand wise, I think it's great. Our followers, our consumers love to see what goes behind the scenes and what we put into our product from the beginning towards the end and uh, it's a very interesting creative process so yeah brand wise it's a great thing but personally I think um, my, in my opinion you should be careful of what you post um, plus safety right for safety we reasons. have like multiple times about the stalker messages not, yes no be like you're in the balcony I'm like from where <laughs> but yeah Believe it or not, the only thing I've done for the gram was put makeup because the client wants me to. Sometimes they want the best of best for the video. But apart from that, I feel like my audience has seen pretty much me in all sorts of occasions. Makeup, sweaty, uh, crushed clothes. So yeah. yeah, I don't even use filter. Yeah, and then sometimes I question her asking why she didn't even put on some makeup she's like no this is my real self i'm not that so. ugly you know uh, in my case i don't really do it for the gram but if it's definitely a lovely landscape if it's a picture worthy moment we'll definitely give it a shot with my sister with the help of her personality is definitely a tough one because it's hard to put like I have a lot, it's hard to put into like three, but definitely one would be Kumar Sangakkar. Little bit of my sister, but I won't take it like a second option, just a little bit. Yeah. You and me, one. You and me, one option. <laughs> okay, so one of my favorites is obviously my sister, but that's not a biased stance, I would say. That's because I'm great, I know. Oh, whatever. Uh, it's actually because I see what goes behind her scenes. I see how real it is and she definitely wouldn't endorse brands just because they are paying. She would, she would be 100% on it. So I really love that quality about her. So I love uh, following her. Plus sometimes I wouldn't know if she's home so I have to check her Instagram to spot where she is. Oops. And uh, who else? I love Eric and Manisha because I love their daily dose of humor. We really need it uh, to get on with the daily. Yeah, it's funny when I just see Eric. <laughs> yeah. I, he doesn't have to do anything. I just look at him yeah. like. <laughs> and yeah, their creativity and humor, of course, I love. You are watching Hashtag Generation. And, and we will be back after a short break. <laughs> We are back with Hashtag Generation. Hey everyone, we got a premium shaker here. You can shake your life problems like you shake your drinks. It's stainless steel. Uh, premium, like I said. You can... Uh, Put your daily dose of coffee with the shot of liquor because life is not tough enough, so you need a drink in the morning. Um, 3,500 only from your leading supermarkets and pharmacies. Why did I say pharmacies? <laughs> but yeah, for all problems, right? Pharmacies, liquor, <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> Hi guys, so here I am with two chopsticks and uh, not only one, it's two chopsticks. No way, really? <laughs> wow. Yeah, made out of uh, tea. <laughs> um, this is not only for those food and um, sushi. Sushi. This is also for <laughs> catching those, grabbing those worries away and throwing them. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> What do you call this? Legal. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Lemonade. Nice. Ah, uh, so we 
usually do our own, no? We help each other. So it's pretty much just you yeah. take turns. So if she's uh, on a higher position, I would just go low to make her look a bit taller and for that extra angle, I would just click away. Yeah. Oh, nice. You want to hold the dream for the picture? Oh, of course. Of course. It's pretty much the same stuff though. Can I see what you get? Am I, why am I blurred? A why bit? are you shiny? Okay, there we go. <laughs> a little bit of cha, cha stuffy going on. Drink. When Snapchat was introduced, I don't use Snapchat, but when it came with that doggy filter, I used, I posted, and I archived. I don't think I like that filter. Uh, in my case, it was because it was too crowded on my uh, feed. What's that? So, it didn't support the layout. Uh, oh, that's so, me, right? Yeah, that's oh, all that's of us, us on that hike. Uh. <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't post it, I archived it. This is uh, one of my number one top picks. Uh, this is Oshinika working on a batik sari. This shows what goes behind the scenes of our products. Uh, how much detailed work they put in. Uh, it's a crazy amount of work uh, and effort. Uh, it's a lot of detailed work which takes days, weeks and sometimes months. And my four power women, my mother, my sister, my grandmother. So this has been my favourite picture for the past one year. As you know, I love blazers. So this is like the first blazer shoot I did for TH. So, it's pretty nice. So that's the first one. And then, this picture with my sister. It's, it, can you remember this? Mm. Shows our true relationship, me torturing her and she loving it. But I have to show one of us too. So this is when we travel together, me and my sister. Uh, I love traveling with her, I love spending quality time with her. So yeah, this reminds me of all the good times we've had. And that's my third. My fourth would be... With my father. It was this Nivea. He's such a comical character. I feel like I get it from him. Yeah, I can't take you both anywhere. Look at all this. Of you, both of you all act like this all the time. I love it. So that's it. Embarrasses us. <laughs> we are pure entertainment. Stop. You'll be bored without me. This is my closest family members. I love this picture because I think I'm here because of all of their support. So this is my strength. My mom, dad, my punchy, my grandma and my sister. I love this. And I think it's my fifth, right? Finally, this picture from Dilma. Uh, te bomu, it's my favorite phrase. So yeah. She drinks about five cups of tea for a day. My gra <laughs> Wait. My mom goes to work, right? So she makes a tea, she puts it in the fridge so this one could heat it up and drink. Who does or that? in a flask. Or, or in a flask. <laughs> so much drama. Yeah, I think that's my five. Okay, I think I have two more pictures left. Um, okay, so I this is think I have one more. I'm not quite sure. How I think I like back? this picture we got with Amachi. My grandmother is really cool. She, how, how old is she? 83. She lies about her age. Yeah, so she lies. Like she so goes to the bag and she says she's 75, but she's truly 80 something. So, this is not a picture, but if you all zoom in, you might be able to see. She's doing like a peace sign with us. Um, we'll, we'll send it to you all. You all can see. She's all fun. That's one. Uh, that's the fourth one. And the last picture would be this one. I find it very nice. No one can see how crazy we are. So, it's very nice. It's enough nice. nice. Yeah, top five.
so for the past few years I've been partnering up with this Instagram uh, page and monthly I would donate them because they buy rice packets or rather make as well so creating job opportunities for others while helping the people in need but for the past two months I sort of backed down from it because I thought of engaging with this other project called Greater Giving Sri Lanka because she's the one who's handling I've been working with the modeling so I thought I'll get on with that because you also get to take part physically because the previous uh, program I was working I couldn't take part physically and I want to see what's happening so at Greater Giving um, I can take part physically I can travel and also help uh, so I, I just like the hands-on experience so that's that you would you would be able to join as well because uh, it's pretty close by to our house so forgot to tell you about it so in my case I was also always involved with uh, charitable projects uh, pe helping people in need from my younger days even as a girl guide back from school I was always involved in uh, helping different communities uh, helping uh, in different camps that were organized for different children or um, I mean basically it's not just being there for me I was able to share my creativity uh, to expand their livelihoods uh, and I would teach them how to uh, make use of their creative skills to use it uh, in a constructive way so they can actually uplift their livelihoods by uh, selling these creative products so I actually went for Miss Sri Lanka in 2019 and that wasn't just a beauty platform for me. I used this platform and this platform really opened doors for us to be with other communities, help uh, other people in need with different projects. So this really opened my eyes and up to date, uh, the girls who helped me from Pubudu Home in my project, uh, we still keep in touch and I still teach them uh, creative ways uh, to uplift their livelihoods and it's not just that as an entrepreneur for me looking after my employees is number one my employees and my family both but when it comes to my employees uh, this is something that I've learned from my past uh, corporate experience at MAS uh, they always looked after their employees and it's something that we should do uh, we are here because of them because of what they do for us so we must always be able to give a helping hand financially physically or mentally to our uh, people but I also just want to add I think we both got it from our CEO uh, unfortunately passed away a few years back but with him he always taught us it doesn't matter how much you have in hand you could be rich or you could be poor but you can always help because I remember he used to travel a lot towards his last uh, days even when he's in Trinkamali or Jaffna, the craziest part in parts in Sri Lanka, he would still make time. He would buy an eraser or a couple of pencils to a few kids in need. So we grew up with that background. So at this point, it doesn't matter whether we are rich or poor or middle yeah. class. We, we just want to help out. And I don't think it's, it's not a bad thing yeah, at all. Because I remember as back in school, can. we don't have much money, but one time, I uh, sold my creative paper quilled cards and from the funds I received I donated it to uh, where they built a, a school or renovated I can't remember exactly a, a school in Mirusuville Jaffna so I donated all the funds I received I mean it wasn't much it, it's probably we about 10,000 yeah. we were schooling but for me it was a big quite a big deal that we were support we were able to support uh, any way we can right I think it's a thought that comes. We're going for a break. TT. <laughs> see, you, yeah. see you soon. <laughs> Hi guys, so welcome back to, to Hashtag Generation. I don't really use much apps. Uh, I use Lightroom for pictures, but just to like adjust the shadows, brightness. For videos, I use CapCut and something called 
video editor. I don't but use apps, but uh, for me, Instagram uh, photography. No, what do you call it? Instagram settings. Ah, yeah. Ah, you can mix with the yeah, settings. Settings and the iPhone uh, settings is more than enough for the slight edits that I require. Lightroom is good, guys. I use Sri Lanka. I don't know. Yeah, why. me too. Right? I use Sri, Sri Lanka. Lanka. Hashtag Sri Everything Lanka. Everything Sri Lanka. Uh, hashtag content creator. Those are like two of my um, top twos, top two hashtags. I think the third one depends on what kind of content I post. If it's like a traveling yeah. content, it's like traveling or travel Sri Lanka, we say Sri Lanka. But top three for you is? Top three is Sri Lanka content creator. Uh, oh, I use love or oh, self love. Yeah, that's, I don't know. That's a good I just one. like it. Yeah, those, so those for me, talks. it was Sri Lanka. Since my brand is more into resort wear, we always hashtag resort wear and uh, crafts, batiks. I used to get mad back in the day, but now you. When like growing up with the platform itself, you come to a point you realize yeah. one thing you can't please everyone, right? Another thing is you can't expect people to understand the story behind you, what you're going through. And I feel like it's fine that not everyone knows your story too. So it's fair enough that people come up with these negative comments, nasty comments, but that doesn't mean you have to let them walk all over you. So to a point, it's fine. Sometimes uh, I don't go to respond to all these negative feedbacks, but certain feedbacks, if it keeps on coming, I do take the initiative, I call it out, but that's it. I don't go to do it repetitively. But yeah, it just, sometimes you need to know which battles to choose. That's what I'm saying. You don't need to go fight with every single comment, but certain stuff, yeah, you need to like go for it. Yeah. I mean, I agree with you and also to add to that, uh, there is always positivity even in those negative comments. So try to make the most out of it, understand their point of view and your point of view also. Uh, there is always not just one side to that comment or story, there is always so many sides. So yeah, maybe handle situations in a better way uh, I mean, than jumping with anger. True, yeah? true. Uh, there's 100 positive comments, let's try not to like yeah, focus, focus on, on the, the two negativity, negatives, yeah. right? Quality, quality, quality. Yeah, same. Because, I'll tell you, technically, let's say there's a person with 100,000 followers and there's a person with 50,000 followers. Sometimes you can see the difference between the engagement. The 100,000 follower might have, let's say for a reel, about 30k views or 20k views. But the person with 50k followers might have about 100k, we have 70k, it's growing. So you know whether it's organic or not. It's all about organic followers and I feel like clients at this point have realized it's not about just the follower count, it's about the organic follower engagement. count, the engagement and the insight. So quality guys. Yeah, for me also it's quality because because of the uh, quality customers only, we have uh, established our online clothing brand. So we always want to give quality for our customers. So it's definitely not the quantity that matters. It's the quality customers, followers, um, clients who engage with us. For me, I think uh, there's two things. One thing, um, those who always spread like overly unnecessary judgmental waves for everything. I mean, they see no good in anything. So when you open your IG in the morning, all you see is negativity. That is something that I don't like. I quickly unfollow those. And uh, the second thing, social media is a place where you can break or make a person. You can break or make a brand. So all of that hard work that one person put into can be broken over the years by just in a split second, I, I mean. So before you really bring things into your newsfeed platform or story, always try, if, I mean, if you're in a situation, always try to approach that person or that page individually. Because you wouldn't want Without to... calling out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're oh, all, I, we I, all I human. We all make we all mistakes. Make mistakes. Mix, mistakes. 
knowingly or unknowingly so it'll be nice if you i mean like i said before it'll be nice if you can approach the person directly see if you can clarify communication is key uh, whether it's social media or not social media so it'll be lovely if you can have a one on one and then go for the next relevant step oh yeah i believe in second chances still yeah i mean we all got one and that's probably yeah. why okay look it's you make a mistake second one is okay okay you're getting there third one of course no understandable but that's i've seen this generation where i mean i've seen people always bringing things to your stories personal matters brand matters plus you should always think um, you know you're giving unnecessary publicity also through these unnecessary work to these people so you have to be careful with what you bring in as content even a story is content so be careful what you project try to do a one on one try to communicate and then see where you can go a big thank you to hi tv for having us for this program hashtag #generation it's my first time doing a show with my sister so we were thrilled it was yeah. really fun also uh, thank you to Taj Mudra Kalambo for helping us get this amazing place Yumi for our interview we hope to come back for another show with Hi TV soon and my instagram handle is sevri.rupasinga and i am dima rupasinga and my brand is lilystore.lk do check out our lovely handmade made with love products